Sometimes with CAD, you want to make something a bit more complex than, say, an iPhone, which, although it has lots of detail, is pretty much a extruded rectangle. You can make something like a candle jar. And it's complex in the sense that it's not one shape you just extruded, because it's got all these complexities, but it's also simple because it is uniform all round. There's no strange bits going in and out here and there. It's just one shape. It has rotational symmetry. So, how do you make these kinds of shapes in SketchUp? They are, it's one really cool tool at least. Um, what you do is, imagine you are cutting this in half. So you're seeing it straight on. You draw in half a section and rotate it round. Now, that can be hard to visualize, so I'm going to help you here. So camera, right view. And I'm just going to draw a shape. So at the origin, I go up, go out, and I'm just drawing something. There we are, we have, we have a shape. And if we go into rotation and orbit, we can see it's just a flat shape. Take the circle tool and just take it out. So there we have it. If we then can delete the center if we'd like, or keep it there, select that area, follow me tool, and click. And what it does, as you see, it rotates the shape around. So we can make a complex shape that goes round. And the good thing about this, we take it right back to this original state and right, we can actually make it more complex. So let's think about some arcs. So here we have that point there, go to the tangent, click, and this one, let's find the tangent, double click, this one, find the tangent, okay. So I found the tangent, it's going to remove the excess and do it again. So around here, take a circle, take it to the end point, select the outside of the circle, follow me, clock on her face. And that is now a nicer version. So if you think about making something like Camden Jar, obviously these two models look different, but if you defined along here, curve up the various curves and arcs and bits coming in and out, then you can just rotate it round and you'd get the candle shape very easily. And that is how to produce um, items with symmetrical um, symmetry, um, rotational symmetry even, very easily you can sketch up. Which then, of course, you can go forward and make more edits. So I'm going to go and you know, add a circle there, and I'm going to push it down. So building things up slowly into more complex models.